Hey guys, Arcade Geek here. So, uh, something a little different for the channel. Uh, you know, obviously focused a lot on the warehouse raid, and then last week's uh, video was about um, getting this place organized, which I've managed to keep it organized still and actually make a little bit of headway. Uh, not really on the re restoration of the game still. The uh, elevator action is on my uh, list for today and to tomorrow to hopefully wrap it up this weekend. But I was able to get Mario Brothers working. Uh, ordered a couple orange buttons from a local guy, and so we'll get that one at least functioning before we get to the restore of it, but uh, that one is good to go now. Also was able to get the Donkey Kong monitor working, so that game's good to go as well. So that just leaves sort of the Berserk, which will be the J-Rock Multi, you know, Berserk Frenzy board. And then this is my Multi Williams. So I accidentally, when I sold the Street Fighter 2 kit, um, gave my control panel hinge to the guy that bought it. So uh, I had to do a little uh, finagling with uh, a guy on Clove to buy his control panel take the hinge off of it and then I'm going to return or instead then sell that panel out to somebody else who maybe doesn't need the hinge. So anyway, we're starting to get to the point where most of the games are working. So I've got uh, everything on this side all functioning and then uh, now DK Mario work, uh, elevator action works when I put it together. So, and then we'll just work on the two J-Rock ones and then I'm going to do the cap kit on this today as well. So I should get most everything in here working. And then we'll just start get started on the restores. But anyway, so today I got a, was kind of surfing around on the internet early and um, saw an ad for uh, a Neo Geo 4 slot, which um, I'll show you here in a second, still in the truck. And uh, it didn't have a ton of information, just had a few photos, and it looked like the, there was four games in it, which was nice. And, um, and so I contacted the guy and was able to get him to hold it for me. It's about a 45-minute drive or so to his house. But... Uh, got over there yeah you know it was in great condition i mean a lot of times these things get swollen they get wet you know etc so it's a little dirty but you know four games that were included it's going to need a cpo and some such but uh you know he said it doesn't work um but it, they were including a bunch of um you know additional game or additional monitors and such so when i got over there you know i kind of expected the worst but what i ended up seeing was he had two brand new in the box 26 inch CRT color monitors. Um, they've got Wells Gardner uh, chassis in them. Uh, so the guy that he bought the game from said that this, the monitor didn't work, but he had two brand new in the box. And so he gave him the game, the, the monitors, which ended up being three total uh, and everything. And then the guy I bought it from knew nothing about arcade games and uh, he was unable to get the wiring. He couldn't figure out the wiring for the new monitor. So. Anyway, he just wanted it out of his way. He had been sitting in his, I guess, his house for a couple of years. And so he finally just said, I just wanted to dump it and get it, get it gone. So all of this, 200 bucks. And four slot Neo Geo, four games. Um, and we'll kind of talk about the games once I get it out of the truck here a little bit. Um, but the big thing, obviously, was the two brand new monitors. I've wanted a Neo Geo four slot for some time. And uh, it's real clean, fully wired inside. Maybe it needs a power supply. I'm not 100% sure. The guy said that he was told it needed a power supply, but... He also said the guy he bought it from didn't seem to know much about this stuff anyway. So it's, it sounds like it was in a couple people's hands that wanted to get a Neo Geo and didn't know what they were doing. So I'll do a little research, see if I can figure it out. But anyway, this is where we're at right now. And uh, give me a second and we'll get this unloaded. All right, guys, back. Got it inside the house. Uh, and spent a little time just, you know, sort of hitting it with some simple green Windex, just cleaning it up a little bit today. Um, I gotta say, man, this game is in really good condition uh, for you know being original. Uh, you know, there's no water at all that looks like it's ever hit this game. The bottoms are pretty sharp edges. You know, a little bit of storage wear, but I mean, you can look at it and see it's it's clean. Um, you know, a little bit of the graphics have been scratched on the side, but not to the point where I'm bothered by it. And then this game's likely going to be in a lineup anyway, so. Uh, I did want go ahead and order a new CPO uh, overlay today. Kind of one of the reproduction plexi ones, so it'd be a little bit nicer than you know just the sort of generic stickers you see on some of the others. Um, and it does need a new power supply, so spend a little bit of time today. It's just not quite working. Um, so the to-do list here basically is you know the tube that's inside is brand new. I took the plastic off when I got it uh, in here and cleaned it. Um, so I've got to get that wired into the game. Obviously, I need a power supply to really test to make sure everything is working. So order the power supply, be in in you know, three or four days, something like that. Um, but really, other than that, I think you know I'm in probably 50 for the uh, overlay and another 50 on a power supply for this one. 
uh, and then 200 for the game itself. So for 300, uh, knock on wood, I'll have a Neo Geo in great condition with a brand new monitor, new overlay, etc. So I can't really beat that deal. Uh, and the games that came with it, you know, Bust a Move, uh, World Heroes 2, Jet, Puzzled, and uh, Double Dragon. Some good titles there. You know, I I haven't played a lot of the puzzle games myself, but, uh, you know, my wife from time to time has played them and likes them. So I thought, you know, we'll leave a couple of those in there and maybe get her outside here a little more than uh, than she has in the past. So really have been buying games that I like and, and my son, you know, plays a little bit, my daughter a little bit, but, you know, my wife really wanted a centipede. So I picked it up and I've had it now for two months and she has not been out here once to play it. So <laughs> I need to get that one uh, fixed up a little bit and get it into the house so it actually gets a little bit of play. But for, you know, right now the garage arcade is really just more for me than anybody else. But anyway, I figure, you know, bust a move maybe in Puzzled or something could be fun games for her. And then, you know, of course, I'm a big fan of Double Dragon since the old NES days. So um, looking forward to playing that one as well. But yeah, new tube inside there. Uh, you know, the tube that came probably was originally in uh, the game is in here and you know the guy that had it didn't know how to work on this stuff so it could be a very simple fix and then you know have that tube up and working and, and probably sell it and then because I've already got a brand new tube inside and I don't have any other games that take a sort of 26 inch CRT uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just sell this so I've got a brand new in the box never even open I assume perfect working monitor so Got one in the game, uh, one to repair, and then one to sell. Anyway, uh, looking forward to doing the work. I got a little bit of wiring that I need to work on as well. Um, you know, this is obviously not the original monitor, so I had to try to figure some things out with what all the wires do. Apparently, this monitor is uh, the schematics really are tough to find online. I finally was able to find a clean one, um, but you know, video I got to get that wired up, and I've just got to rewire power, and so that'll all be good to go once the new power supply comes in. But anyway, that's the update. So it's my uh, kind of mini score for the day. Uh, you know, just need to get it up and running and kind of probably slide it right into the Miss Pac-Man spot here. So we'll take this one out. I'll hopefully get the, uh, I might do the cap kit now. I've got a little bit of time. I, I need to stop procrastinating that and just get it done. So get the cap kit done on the 20 year here and then get that one out for sale and just sort of slide the Neo Geo in that spot. Anyway, that's the update, and uh, I will hopefully work on some elevator action tomorrow and have that video out, I'd say, next week. All right, guys, take it easy.